everyone. I hope you've all had a really good and positive week. So today I'm going to be looking at habit nine for my hidden chimp, which is probably one of the more challenging habits, learning to share. And the difficulty is many children find this a really hard concept to accept because they can't see the advantages of sharing. And as we've talked about before, young children especially are using their chimp system to operate with the majority of the time. So what we've actually got in a situation like this with two children who both want to play with the same toy, essentially is two chimps who are both thinking emotionally and impulsively. And they're also thinking in the here and now. So they can't see past this immediate situation of, I want it, it's mine. And the chimp system also has a really strong sense of fairness and this is based on expectation. So what the chimp believes should happen. So for example, he should let me play with it. I should be able to do what I want to. These are the things that the chimp believes should happen. And when this doesn't match up to the reality of the situation, this is where we're likely to see a chimp outburst taking place. And the other thing to consider is the computer system, what we looked at last time. So if a child has beliefs in their computer, such as, if I share my toy, I won't get it back. Or if I share my toy, it will get broken. This is the information that then informs their chimp. And we can guess how the chimp is likely to react now with this information. So similar to what we talked about last time, the key thing that we can try and do is to introduce new beliefs into the child's computer. So for example, introducing a timer along with the belief that when the timer runs out, I will get my toy back. So this then reassures and settles the child's chimp because now it knows that it's temporary and there will be a time when they will get their toy back. Toys sometimes get broken, but they can be fixed or replaced. So if a child knows there is a possibility that toys could get broken or damaged, then their chimp is less likely to be catastrophic if that does happen. And they know that there is a solution that we can try and do. We can try and fix it or we can replace it. So it's not the end of the world. When I share, I get approval from. So young children respond really well to behavioural methods such as giving praise or approval when they engage in behaviours we want them to. So they're more likely to share if they believe that they're going to get praise or approval from us by doing so. And as the child gets older, they're more likely to be able to see things from other people's point of view. So we can then introduce the belief that the other person will feel happy if I share with them. Now for anybody working through this habit with a child, it's really important to prepare yourself. And a really good way to do that is by using the NEAT acronym. So N stands for normal. It's really normal for children to not want to share their toys and to have chimp outbursts. E is expect. We should expect it to happen from time to time. A is accept. So we need to accept that the chimp is really powerful and it's going to get the better of us from time to time. T is take care of it. So encourage children to apologise if they've hurt or upset someone and sit down and plan for how we can manage it better next time. 